Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and guys, Tony just blessed us with the patch notes for the early access of Multiverse tomorrow and let's get straight into the video guys. Now, these are the new stuff that we're going to be seeing tomorrow. First, we got Iron Giant coming in at a colossal size. Then we have Steven Universe's map. The Ancient Sky Arena is going to be available to play tomorrow. And then, for those people that don't want to play online against the Sweaty Sweaty people, it's okay. Because you get to play a 1-4 to four player local play available off rip. Let's go! Now, these are the global changes that they did. And the first thing we have is... The wall fatigue, as in like now you're not able to hug the wall forever. They're actually decay, which I think that's amazing to do. You can read it for yourself right here. Um, y'all can read it. I'm gonna take my slow time, but I'm gonna just read the main parts for y'all to understand, and then we're just gonna keep going down the list. So just pause it if you want to read anything to yourself, um, or just mute me up and you know read it while I go down. <laughs> All right. So first we have fire debuff now having a decay time over time. Um, abilities with ammo now has two different cooldowns of the ability and showing that you need to increase like how many um, ammo in your like how much ammo you have uh, the glossary of multiverses terms has been added that's cool um, they added two new events tutorials talking about um, knockback influence you know KBI and that elemental interaction you know like fire ice and electricity um, invisible frames are removed when canceling a dodge into attack unless dodge severely dodges an attack and then dodge jump movement increased slow by 5%. Now the perks changes, looks like Aria um, signature perk uh, wounded is gone and now we have betrayal. Hitting an ally with an area attack has a longer cooldown but the ally is given an in range buff and if you dash to your dagger then you get an in range buff also. Bugs' lingering love has a cooldown, you can read if you want. Um, Harley has a new thing called confetti. Um, explosion is just um, like like how the fire explosion that we have already now is just a confetti one so it's like even stronger pretty much uh, next we have is Superman has a new one called break the ice Superman deals additional damage to fighters that are debuffed so if you have the ice um, debuff on characters you do more damage to them I'm um, scaling to the ice so the more ice they have the more damage you do um, next we have is ties they remove right back at you which was the projectile thing that just shoots back but now they added I gotta get in there which is your Taz eyes can jump into your dog pile move and it gives more damage more knockback longer um, duration and it's armored what that it just sounds crazy Taz literally uh, you're gonna we're gonna keep reading and see what happens um, perks that got changed we have a new perk called armor crush your team on um, fully charged attacks gives armor break which I think is amazing this means that now your charge moves um, like once you fully charge a move it has armor break now for the characters that don't have armor break and if you and your teammate runs it now at 75% charge you and your ally um, that selects a perk um, at 75% charge you have armor break I think that's amazing for characters that don't have armor break like um, Harley and you know other ones um, next, we have already the electric projectile, this name change. Then we have the fire projectile, name change. But it did get um, nerfs. Um, the charge is reduced to 4 seconds and no longer charges without ground movement. The fire one is now reduced to 1. And then if two people run it, it's 2 stacks. Same thing with the ice, 1, 2 stack. Um, again, another uh, perk that got changed um, name-wise. And then this is the same thing. And then um, this is pretty much projectile gray health. Yeah, and now it's called this. And now it's, uh, I think the timer says, it says the great health duration is 3 seconds and if the stack is 4 seconds, so I think it's like 1 or 2 you get when you hit people with projectiles. But now there's a timer, you know, it doesn't stay forever, which is amazing. Now let's go to the character balances. <laughs> we have Arya uh, making her combo game, her neutral attack a uh, little more reliable. Then we have some buffs on her aerial attack damage and stuff. I'm, I'm just going to like slowly read it through y'all and just pick up the main points because I don't want to screw you know say everything because it's gonna take too long but yeah it looks like her ground special which gives her armor breaking is gonna be a little bit faster at 18 seconds and her ground attack has more cancel um frames which is pretty cool her side attack um has strong so it matches the animation which is good and her ground attack has more for with query which is amazing now batman got some crazy buffs so look like batman's literally gonna be literally one of the top three characters bro like his buffs are ridiculous you're gonna see me Probably making him my secondary character because of these buffs. Now, his grapple can now be canceled out of jumping or dodging. His down special, which does a smoke, now allows you to ignore enemies' projectiles. Oh my god, that just sounds brutal, bro. Projectile character has nothing on Batman now. Um, your up special adds weakening. Your side attack adds weakening. Your ground up attack adds weakening. Oh my god, Batman is going to be a menace this test, guys. 
Um, next we have is Bugs Bunny. It looks like when you exit out of Bugs Bunny's tunnels now, it's going to be less um, invincibility frames. Um, your aerial attack specials is less safe now, so you know it's like uh, pretty much a longer whiff, and then your side special has more whiff. Now we have is Finn. Yes, let's gut this man down finally. And pretty much um, he um, has less knockback, but he has better uh, reliable like hits for his um, down attack. Um, his aerial and ground up special hitbox connects better and more consistent, which is amazing. He got a speed reduction, thank the lord. And then finally, his speed of boots that he gets that he gets to um, stack for more speed is now at a 10% increase for the first purchase, then a 5% for the second, and then 3% for the third and fourth and fifth. And the max stacks is 10 now, which I think is solid and great. Don't get me wrong, it was fun and cool to have 25 stacks, which is nearly impossible in a real game, but my lead, that was just unrealistic. <laughs> Down air attack hitbox starts a bit later, thank god. Side air attack increase with recovery, neutral with recovery, and then down special um, counts as project, um, projectile perk application, which is great. So I'm happy to see he has more with recovery and he's not able to just fly around attacking again. Um, Garnet um, has a, f a decrease in her movement and her down attack. Her neutral has an increased knockback. Her aerial ground special. Um, has a, like what is it longer additional startup yeah so it's a longer time her up attack startup movement is increased her side uh, one and two has pretty much uh, more recovery and yeah Harley oh I love this one Harley's bomb will now pierce armor thank the Lord we actually have an armor breaking move finally for our Harley mains um, next we have Harley bomb equip no longer counts as a air special use so i'm kind of curious what our air special going to be now if we can't do that unless it's just going to be nothing uh we did get a decrease on our bat bomb so it only lasts for six like seconds before it gets detonated um they felt like it was a pressing player so you know it's okay um the next bug we fixed the bug where the bomb disappears if someone goes in the blast zone so now we won't get gypped if we throw someone out in the blast zone but they don't die and our bomb still stays and we get to use it after you know so we can stop getting gypped out of so many kills that we should have had if they just didn't if the bomb didn't properly go into the blast zone which i think is finally a good fix um up attack air has been decreased you know so you can't spam the um bat move or the i want to say the the confetti gun move the side air it has better more recovery with which is fine and then the neutral air you know the hammer has a little more riff uh whiff too so that's good jake oh my god jake got some buffs he got nerfed for the main reason why he was so broken but his buffs are ridiculous let's get straight into that so now he can cancel out of his moves more to give him more combos out the air or, or the grounded and aerial specials, right? He could cancel out of his move and his up attack. He could cancel out his move out of his ground up attack. He could cancel out his move out of his ground down attack. He could cancel out his move out of his ground neutral attack. He is lighter, thank God. And then the main reason why Jake was so broken and busted was Jake's stretch punch decrease is now um, based off of the charge time. So the longer you charge it is the further it goes now, thank God. And he also has a sweet spot, um, you know, if it's charged long enough, which is amazing. That was, I think that was amazing problem for him but now he's able to cancel out of every single move oh my god this man is about to be a combo machine but next we have is rain dog rain dog grounded sound attack can now be canceled out of immediately on hit um ground up attack um has multiple combos a bit more re reliable which is cool the uh, ground up attack um hitbox is better you know when he bites up which i think needed to be worked on because it was pretty bad i'm not gonna lie um grounded down attack has a faster startup which is good and then he has less movement speed which i think is good for his up um air special shaggy oh my god shaggy just got crazy so pretty much shaggy passive shaggy had now has a passive and now he starts with a sandwich in his life so pretty much you get a free project on your hand as soon as you start the game um down air special has armor when descending so that means when you're about to hit the ground you literally get armor now his ground up attack um ha has a more hit cancel frame and also knockbacks even harder his grounded down attack is a faster startup so that means even though so now you get more um now it's even faster, but Shaggy did get a little bit slower, so I'm kind of happy about that. Steven. Steven neutral bubble shield uh, refresh time now shows players um, the ability, which is good. I feel like it was weird to have to hear audio cue or wait randomly to see if you have a bubble. Now it kind of tells you when your bubble is back, which I think is awesome. The Rose Bomb is now a 10 stack, which I think is amazing. And then this is the best part about it, is that when people get bubbled now, they have more control overall throughout the whole thing. And then his up special where he throws a shield up um it's less movement which i think is amazing because i'm not gonna lie that little man was stretching a little bit too far <laughs> now superman his ground attack um he got his armor remove but now it's an armor break move which you know i'm happy to see less armor moves on him but <laughs> it's not a break armor move it's like oh my god can we stop buffing him <laughs> um his aerial ground attack and special has a longer range and project and applies projectile so now it counts as a projectile which is 
oof. But, you know, I think Superman needed a little more buffs. His ground side special is faster and his jab combo um, combo changed a little bit better. Taz, oh my god. So, remember about Taz with his, you know, his signature that literally goes crazy. Let's get into it. So now Taz many attacks, velocity branches, making his movement less clunky. His holding is special allows him to um, have a longer time to bite, as in like he can have um, it going like like for example his bite is longer, so projectiles could get in there um, at a longer time, or you can you know eat somebody. Um, his ground attack movement is greater, so that means his like spitting down is gonna be pretty nasty. Or is, is it the feet jump? It's one of those two. Um, he got also got weight decrease, so he's lighter. Um, his aerial ground attack, um, attack is more committable, so now um, the the spin 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 is now. Um, you have to commit a little bit long before you can cancel out of it, which is definitely needed. Um, he has ammo reduce um, Taz zoning efficiency, which when he throws the apple, I want to say. Yeah, so now you have an ammo counter on that. <laughs> um, next we have is Taz can no longer turn to change direction of the knockback. And what that means is when he does his side special, you know how he's able to grab you a certain way, but then fling you the next way. Now you have to commit and throw that person. So if I grab you right side, I can't, I can't throw you left because I'm closer to the left side for the blast zone. If I hit you right, now you go right, which I think was really needed, to be honest. And then obviously the bug on console about Taz being invisible is now fixed. Tom and Jerry nerfs. Oh my god, we all wanted to hear this one. Now his dynamite ammo count has been increased to 12 seconds. See, let's go. His up attack has additional additional whiffs. Thank you. His down attack hitbox starts a bit later. Thank you. His side air attack um, as whiff. Thank you. And then Jerry slingshot now has tactic K, which is amazing. Thank you. Valma actually got some buffs right here and some nerfs. So as you can see, her police card does last a little bit longer. It's a little bit stronger. Um, her neutral dodge projector she will only be turned on if Velma has dodge meter. So if you don't have dodge meter, then her neutral dodge won't work, which is the one that repels any uh, projectiles that are thrown at her. If you didn't know that, that's that's her um, neutral dodge that it um throws back. Um, her up special size hitbox reduced, knockback reduced, and weakening go from five to three. Thank the Lord, that shit was busted. A bug fix where she can no longer cancel during startups. I forgot what it is, but it could just be the the um up air special. Yeah, I think you were able to cancel out of the the camera move. So yeah, that's been fixed. Um, and then her grounded up special um, increased to 14 to 28 seconds. I want to say that's the, the slow down poison, right? That she puts in the ground, the chemical thing. So you got to be more careful about using that now because you have a longer cooldown. And then the ground side special where um, Velma is now only able to cancel the grapple when grounded up attack. So I guess you only need to do one other move to get out of it, I want to say. Which is really not that bad of a debuff. And then finally, we have Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman got a better sound effect to um, feel more powerful um, her side air attack increase hit pause hits uh, makes it feel more powerful which I think is cool um, her base move speed got dropped one woman speed oh, okay there we go uh, area of the grounded neutral increased from 8 seconds to 13 seconds I think that's a lasso yeah a lasso so a lasso takes a little bit longer her side special movement distance can no longer be controlled to make the attack more criminal so you know her super punch where she jumps in the air and like side punches you so a lot of people were able to control it as in like they didn't have to commit they could go for it and then pull back at the last second so they won't get punished for it now she has to commit more which is thank the lord and then a bug fix with her ground attack hitbox being more in line with the visuals which is amazing and that is your multiverses patch notes for the early access hopefully you enjoyed the video guys leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments and finally if it's the first time ever watching a multiverse video and you do love my content and you do love gameplay tips and tricks news like this shoot even patch notes esports then this is the channel for you guys and i'm out peace yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out